Yesterday, someone asked me a question from Europe. The question was, if Allah knew that we are going to heaven and hell, and if Allah has determined the whole future, why did he make us? Why didn't he just put us where we were belonging in the first place? So I told him, I said, when you have a court case, is it fair for the judge to just say, right, I'm jailing you without proving you or to you the evidence? You did this, you did that, you did this. Look at what you did. The evidence is against you. You now deserve this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not impose on us certain matters. He has given us a choice regarding you are sitting here. It was in the knowledge of Allah. It was decreed by Allah indeed. But he gave you the capacity and the choice. Subhanallah. He will not punish you for what you did not have a choice regarding. If something happened beyond your choice, say for example, something disastrous happened. You were driving according to the speed limits and suddenly someone decided to break the limits or to, they made a mistake. They bumped into you and you were injured. You are not going to be asked, why were you injured? That man is going to be asked, why were you driving recklessly? So that was not in your capacity. It's qadr. It's taqdeer meaning it is destiny. It was destined that I was going to go through this. Indeed, I had no role to play. Allah will not question me where I didn't have a choice. But where Allah has given you a choice, you chose. Allah holds you responsible. That does not mean he doesn't know what was going to happen. This is why when we talk about the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, many of you would obviously know I'm just repeating it. The knowledge of Allah encompasses many aspects to show the greatness of Allah. Allah knows the past. He knows the past. Yakunu is mudara in the Arabic language. It is present and future. So Allah knows the past. He knows the present and he knows the future. But there is something more than that that Allah knows. Which is amazing. Allah knows that which was not going to happen and will not happen. If it were to happen, how it would have happened? Allah knows it already. Can I give you an example from the Quran? In Surah Al-Kahf, and I'm sure we read it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about certain incidents that happened between Musa alayhi salam and Al-Khidr. Al-Khidr. And Allah speaks about one of them where a young boy was killed by Al-Khidr. And Musa alayhi salam says, how can you kill this man without any reason? No purpose. We are not allowed to kill just because you might have had a disagreement or a difference. You have no right to take away the life that Allah gave. Who gave life? Allah. How can you take away life that Allah gave? If Allah wants, He will take that life away. He has more power than you and I. Subhanallah. So Al-Khidr says, look, you don't know what I've done. Just leave it. It was from Allah inspired. Subhanallah. And then he explains that had this child grown older, he would have been a source of misfortune for his parents and a source of sadness, a source of perhaps harm to his parents. Therefore, Allah chose to take him away at an early age to avoid his parents suffering and him to actually end in a bad way. So it was the blessing of Allah. What I learned from this, the biggest lesson is Allah knows that which was never going to happen. Because Allah knew that this child is going to go now. But Allah knew if we gave him life, which we were not going to do anyway. But if we did it, he would have turned out to be X, Y, and Z. That's the knowledge of Allah. So if you did not come here today, where you would have been, Allah knows. But Allah also knew that you were going to come here. It is so amazing that sometimes it confuses the mind. You need to sit and think about it.